This is a pretty treacherous part. I, I grew up on these trails essentially. I, when I was a kid I'd ride my bike down these trails every single day and they've changed a little bit with the erosion and stuff but I know this can be a pretty treacherous part of the hike so I wanted to make sure I got it on camera in case one of us uh, completely bails. <laughs> I know this section and this is where it'll happen. Whoa. See? Good morning. Hello. We are out for a hike. We wanted to take the dog. It's pretty hilly and I may sound a little out of breath already. <laughs> but we That's wanted That's because he just tripped over a root. We wanted to take the dogs out for a walk today and uh, bring you guys along with us. These are a really beautiful set of trails, so we're looking forward to the walk. So we are on a pretty cool hike today. This is actually Beeline's first hike, which is uh, what we wanted to talk to you guys about, sort of getting to the point where we were comfortable allowing Bee off leash uh, in a situation like this. Mm, in fact, we sort of are trying to make sure that we have uh, a plan in place for the other dogs as well. Um, you know, we have them all off leash in the woods here. So between the two of us, we can keep an eye on them all, which yeah. is great. Although they tend to think the best thing is like running up and down the trail 100 miles an hour. <laughs> for sure. Um, but we also need to meet, be respectful to others. So if we happen to see somebody else on the trail, we don't really want our dogs, you know, running and interrupting their walk. So we always sort of have plans in place. So we'll call the dogs back to us or have them lie down. Um, and with Beeline, I'm gonna call her back and put her back on the leash so that, you know, if she makes any bad choices or whatever, I'm just, I'm playing it safe. I don't wanna be getting her in trouble for anything. I wanna be proactive and try to be responsible uh, to help her make good choices. But um, you know, she's been listening really, really well lately. Yeah. Um, one of the reasons why we haven't taken her on the hike so far is just due to the fact that when she gets toward, when she was getting around the other dogs a few months ago, she was just too overstimulated and yeah. she wasn't listening 100% of the time, which, um, we didn't really want her rehearsing, but she's been that's kind fabulous. Of, that's kind of the criteria for off leash is mm -hmm. listening 100% of the time. But. Absolutely. So she's nine months now and she, she's listening very well. So we thought we would, uh, let her, uh, Earn her stripes today mm -hmm. so far so good and I think I've caught my breath uh, we were just came up a big climb you can see it behind us there uh, I think we should continue on absolutely This is a pretty treacherous part. I, I grew up on these trails essentially. I, when I was a kid I'd ride my bike down these trails every single day and they've changed a little bit with the erosion and stuff but I know this can be a pretty treacherous part of the hike so I wanted to make sure I got it on camera in case one of us uh, completely bails. <laughs> I know this section and this is where it'll happen. Whoa. See? She made it. I'm glad because it's a long walk back. Covered in sludge. Slam. Slam. Look at feet. Oh no. Look at. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing Bonding black socks. Oh, looks like he's wearing black socks. Look at socks. hippies little feet. <laughs> sludge paws, pink mohawks. There's water coming up and there's two options either to go through the water well not us uh the dogs or go up over this like really sketchy looking metal bridge it's amazing it's not sketchy no though. sketchy is in like there's holes in it so the dogs may not be super comfortable going across it but yeah. it's not gonna like fall in the water or something no, no. like that but i can just hear the water for now so i'm just gonna have the dogs wait so i can go check i would hate for them to uh go in the water and be whisked away yeah. um beeline especially she loves the water but she has never gone swimming yet so anyways i'm gonna check it out before we go yeah we'll hang out here yep I, 
I think it's okay. It's it's kind of fast, but it's very shallow. So I think we can probably just run through it. I decided to take the bridge, which is <laughs> how funky did too. Yeah. Very good, but I'm impressed. So I think we're both pretty impressed that. Um, look at my look at my leash situation right yeah. now. Yeah. So Kale's got all the leashes on in case we encounter someone, or more importantly, in case we encounter another encounter another dog. Yeah, and I keep having to put Funky on leash because if I don't walk her, she doesn't get any exercise because she just stands and hunts. Yeah. So we do all of this work, and then she like doesn't even get her heart rate going at all. So if I put her on leash, she has to at least walk with me. <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed at um, two things that the dogs, uh, especially Hippie, were so willing to go across the water. Yeah. And that Rad and Funky both figured out to use the bridge because it can be a pretty intimidating bridge because it's got like a corrugated I'm uh, deck. most surprised about Rad because the last yeah. time I walked here, I had to carry him across that bridge because the water, we couldn't get across it at the time. It was in the winter and I had to carry him across because he wouldn't walk and he was like all over it <laughs> yeah, this time. I'm really great. surprised. Thick throwing stick. Tail okay, found a retrieving stick to send the dogs out to. I think they know what's up here. I want B to go in. <laughs> This will get Funky exercising because she loves the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's cheating though. Funky, come on. Bring here. She's like, how can I get to them? Come on, Fun. Come on, bring here. Yeah. He's not totally sure how to get out into that deeper water. Well, the dogs had a great swim. Uh, I think they really enjoyed it. You could see all of the dogs were getting in there and like diving into the water. You gotta work on B and Hippie still. A yeah, bit. B was a little bit more hesitant to get into the deeper water, but I was really impressed, like how deep she went in and yeah. down, going down the stream and stuff. Which I thought that was pretty fun. cool. But we've uh, encountered a nice wide open area and we'd like to do a little bit of training. Yeah, we haven't seen anybody on the trail today, which has been really lucky, but we do uh, like to practice some of the skills that we would utilize if we did meet somebody on the on the trail from time to time when there's no one around so that we can actually train the dog. So ever so often we'll t yell out to everybody to lie down or we'll call them all back and, and have them sit near to us. Um, but it's always a good idea to practice those skills when out without actually being under the fire of of people actually being there that you have to control your dog around and that way yeah. you can reward them more Sometimes often. those distractions just prove to be too much. So if you practice it in an environment where the dog's way more likely to be right, you're way more likely to have a good training session. Absolutely. So let's try that. Okay, lie down, lie down. B, lie down. Yeah, good dog. Okay, here, here, slam here. Good, sit. Here, B, sit. Sit, slam, sit. Yeah. We're stopping for a water break. Get all the dogs rehydrated. We need some water ourselves. Hopefully they don't knock over the camera. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that's really handy when you're hiking is a bowl like this. So can you just it's extend a that for a second? Yeah. I actually bought them originally because of all the traveling I do over CP. <laughs> yeah, watch out, um, because they're super light. Oh, see, they're looking for water here. Um, but they collapse down into complete, being completely flat. Here, guys. Here, come get a drink. Here. Go get a drink, guys. We finally made it back to the car. The bugs were awful. The last 150 feet was, I, I mean, I'm covered in welts. Me too. For mosquito bites. Next time, I am never doing this without smothering myself in bug spray. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> it's a good hike though. The dogs are uh, super exhausted. Everybody's panting when they get back to the car. So that's uh, definitely worth the hike. And it was a lot of fun. It was uh, really fun watching those guys uh, all swim together. Now, if you have a really keen eye, you may have missed that Deegan and Mac, or you may have noticed that Deegan and Mac weren't with us. They had a run earlier today. Um, and because they're both older, we didn't really want to exhaust either of them. It would have been a little bit too much. But um, so now we're headed home. Uh, covered in bug bites we're gonna have to deal with that I guess when we get home tacos and sleepy puppies up yeah. next <laughs> I know these cooking segments are completely pointless, but they're really fun for me to shoot. 
so uh, let me know in the comments if you're enjoying them. Kale thinks it's ridiculous that it's I'm ridiculous. that I'm filming uh, creating food, but I I think it's really fun, and hopefully it's presented in a way that you find fun too. So let me know in the comments below. Well, I'd say everybody's tired out and ready for bed after the long. Keeping me nice and warm. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for us to shut it down as well. Maybe watch some Netflix and then call it a night. Sounds so, good to me. So from Funky and Slam and Kale and myself, good night. Good night.